guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a super fun and exciting video. I have partnered with W7 to bring you this super soft glam rose gold makeup tutorial on a budget considering I'm using everything from W7. And if you've never heard of W7, they are a super, super affordable brand, but the products that they have are so high quality. A lot of them are very similar to higher end products. So this video is really gonna save you some money, honey. And I wonder if you can spot the kind of, you know, dupes throughout this video, but today we are mainly going to be focusing on the new W7 Socialite Eyeshadow Palette, which is basically what I've revolved this kind of soft glam rose gold look on because <laughs> look inside. It's amazing, but I'm not gonna give it too much away. You're gonna have to watch the tutorial to see how I got this look and all the other products involved. But if you love the look of this makeup look already, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I have left the link to everything that I use in the description bar down below. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this look. I feel like it's perfect for any occasion, for everyday kind of soft glam use, for events, for any sort of special occasion. It's super wearable and super, super easy to use. And you're not gonna break the bank creating it. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And yeah, without further ado, I feel like let's just get on with the tutorial. Okay, so to begin, we are gonna start off with our skin because the eyes are kind of super minimal and easy to do. I'm not doing any sort of like winged out look or anything and I don't feel like there's gonna be a lot of fallout, so I feel fairly safe to do my skin first. So to begin, I'm gonna be taking the W7 Princess Primer Drops. These are literally only $8.95, which I feel is so good. Kind of remind me of um, the Fasali Drops type thing, but obviously literally a fraction of the price. They're super fast absorbing, and they really like boost your complexion and make them glow so, so, so much. And it's the perfect base underneath your foundation. And it has my favorite ingredient in it. It's got hyaluronic acid in it, so you know it's gonna be so beneficial for your skin as well and I just love the way this makes my skin look. It honestly just makes my skin feel super nourished. It has a really subtle tack to it and I always say you know it's gonna be a good primer when there's a slight tack to it so you know anything that you put on the top is gonna cling to it really well but I also love the fact like I said my skin it feels super hydrating and has a beautiful glow underneath it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply foundation on the top of this and then we can move on to concealer. So once we have applied our base I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my favorite W7 products. This is their Lift and Sculpt cream contour kit. I'm going to be mixing these two shades together just because I don't want it to be super bright underneath my eyes. I'm going to use that as concealer and then I'm going to be taking this shade here to cream contour and blend it all together. I love this so much. It blends so easily. This one is only a $7.95 so it's super super affordable and it's like I said so creamy right off the bat. You don't have to use an oil or anything with this and they just all blend together so easily. I love the coverage from that palette and it looks super just like lightweight and dewy on my skin which is perfect for a soft glam look like this but now it's time to set it all in place and I'm going to be taking the W7 Matte Dream Loose Powder. This one is in the shade of Classic Cameo. It's like that light soft peach shade. It's really going to help brighten up underneath the eyes really just lock everything in place give the skin a slightly more matte finish but as I said those products underneath are quite dewy so the combination together is just going to look beautiful throughout the day. So yeah I'm going to go ahead and set my face with powder and I am actually going to go ahead and do my brows and then we can continue on with the skin. Okay, now we are sufficiently all set in place. It's time for bronzer and this is their Honolulu bronzer. It comes with a little brush. This is just going to like reimburse the contour, add a little bit more warmth to the skin. I like to go kind of like quite lightly with this. You can totally build it up if you prefer something a little bit heavier, but this product is so pigmented right off the bat. I feel like you barely need any of it and it's just perfect to kind of, you know, reinforce the contour that we had and to warm up the skin. Skin. And this bronzer is literally only $5.95, which literally blows my mind. For basically it's six pounds, this is like such a beautiful warm tone bronzer and I love the kind of like sassy finish that it has as well. Another one of my favorite W7 products is the Life's a Peach Blusher Palette. It has a array of different blush shades ranging from kind of like pale peach, like a medium mauvey color, this gorgeous like lilac, a brighter pink, and this is my favorite one. This is like a gorgeous peachy color called Golden Glory. So I'm gonna mix these two shades together and apply it to the apples of my cheeks. I love blush recently, and this palette just contains so many gorgeous colors, and it is only $9.95, so it's basically just under two pounds of blush, which is insane for the pigmentation, the color payoff, and just the quality of the product. I'm obsessed. You guys know I love 
not to use a liquid highlighter before a powder highlighter. I just feel like it gives something to that powder highlighter to cling to. It's really going to pop. And for a soft glam look, you might just actually prefer to use a liquid highlighter on its own. So I'm going to be taking the W7 Be Me Up Illuminator Drops. These are in the shade Dynamite. It's that classic bright gold shade and I just like to apply this on all the places that I would normally apply my highlighter and I love this because it blends on top of powders so easily it doesn't make it separate which is a huge quality when it comes to liquid highlighters that is super important and if you do like cream products you can just stop here before using a powder highlighter because this on its own looks beautiful as well. I love how dewy this makes my skin look and I feel like this would look beautiful if you mix it in with your foundation or underneath your foundation like mix it in with a moisture or something the color of that is so good and it blends so easily into the skin which I love it doesn't just like sit on the skin and you know look like a line but you guys know I love to wear a powder highlighter on the top and this is one of my favorite ones this is called their glow commotion shimmer highlighter it is like the most gorgeous pale champagne gold literally that was like one swirl it's so pigmented and i just like to dust this over where i just placed the cream you can see it really just clings to it, it makes it pop this was the highlighter i wore throughout the whole of coachella i'm obsessed with it i had so many compliments on it and i cannot believe it is only 6.95 literally so insane and it's so buttery as well it just blends onto the skin oh my god but that is it for the skin and i just feel like it looks so beautiful and dewy perfect for a soft glam look a lot of these products i feel like feel and look full coverage but just sit so comfortably on the skin and blend so beautifully into each other i love love the way this skin looks especially for the summertime and for your holidays but now we're going to move on to the eyes got an exciting palette to use and eye products for this rose gold soft glam look so let's go okay so i've just gone ahead and done one eye but for the eyes today we are going to be using the w7 socialite eyeshadow palette which is brand new and i know you guys are going to be obsessed with this because it looks slightly familiar i love all these colors now i think these are so complimentary on like every eye color i love a soft rose gold glam you can really go from day to night time with these kind of looks it's also multi like textural if that makes sense we've got some pressed glitters some beautiful pressed pigments we've got mattes we've actually got like a cream primer in there as well mimics a slightly popular palette which i'm sure you guys know what i'm talking about the quality of this is insane so i'm gonna go ahead and create a super easy simple soft glam look and i'm just dipping a big fluffy brush into the shade worldy as our initial transition color i'm then going to take a slightly smaller brush and the shade sophisticated to further deepen up the crease and that's basically going to be it for the lid colors but i'm just making sure to buff that on to the lid as well then actually for the lid shade i'm going to be taking this w7 starry metallic jelly eyeshadow in the shade mercury retrograde just to kind of help carve out the crease and i love these eyeshadows you guys know i'm obsessed with these they're so pigmented and like i said this is just going to give us a really good base for when we press on these pigments on to the top speaking of which i'm going to be mixing the shades about town and old money together to create a beautiful rose gold shade and mainly focusing that old money shade on the sort of transition from lid shade to crease color as it's of a similar color if that makes sense so you can see we've got a beautiful rose gold gradient going across the lid creating a beautiful soft glam look you can further deepen this if you want to but i am going to keep this minimal and wearable and i'm just going to take a brush and the shade sophisticated again underneath the eye to tie everything together and feel free to kind of clean up slightly underneath the eye to create a little bit of a winged shade but I'm just doing that to keep it all neat and tidy but then yeah this is the finished eye and I just think it is so beautiful and so complimentary on everyone. I'm then going to go and highlight my inner corner using the same highlighter that we use on the face just using a little pencil brush to oh, pop that in there like so. And that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow. It's so quick and easy. And for the price point and the pigmentation, I am just obsessed with this. Save yourself so much money because this is just as good as the original, I would say. I'm now going to go ahead and apply mascara. This is the Ultra Plush Mascara. Just a light coat to my top and bottom lashes. You can just leave it here, but you guys know me, so I am going to go ahead and pop eyelashes on top. And I'll be back to show you the finished eye. 
eyes. So these are the finished eyes. I just went ahead and finished off the look with a pair of like really lightweight, fluffy, wispy lashes. You guys could have just left it with mascara if you guys don't like lashes, but you know me, I love a lash, and I feel like this just complements the eye look so well. I have also just gone ahead and popped some lip liner on for the lip products. I'm gonna go obviously with a nude, something super soft glam. This is the Skinny Lipping 2 Matte Liquid Lip Color, and this is in the shade Angelic Kiss. It is a beautiful pale peach shade. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over the lips, and I love these. They go on so easily, and they dry super, super quick, which I feel like is like, I feel like this is an important quality of a liquid lipstick. You don't want to be sat there for ages waiting for it to dry because I can't wait to apply my lip gloss. So yeah, just popping this on the lip. Sorry, just realized I can pop my hoops back in now. But I'm just going to go ahead and pop a lip gloss on. This is the Hot Shot Power Plumbing Lip Gloss in the shade Sweet Talk. It's the most beautiful pale nude and it does actually have glitter reflex running through it and I love a lip plumbing gloss so I'm just going to go ahead and pop this on. I'm going to go too heavy with it because it is quite pale. But it does just add the most beautiful sparkle and my lips are feeling tingly which I love. But this is pretty much the finished makeup look. I'm just going to go ahead and set my skin with this Ready Set Glow Illuminating Setting Spray. It's so beautiful and this is in the shade Gold and I've literally never seen anything like it. There's always that pearlescent one or a bronze one but this is like a proper gold so I'm just going to spray all over my face and on my decolletage area to complete this soft glam rose gold look. Perfect for literally any occasion. Oh my god and I forgot to mention my favourite part of this spray. It smells Smells like watermelon, watermelons. So I'm gonna be glowing, smelling like watermelons. It's literally like summer in a bottle. So this is the finished makeup look, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Enjoyed this soft rose gold glam look on a budget. And definitely make sure to check out the Socialite eyeshadow palette. I have left a link to this and everything else that I've used in the description bar down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.